let's talk about NGM inequality and the geometry behind it. So the geometry of this little tool from algebra. But first, what is AM or arithmetic mean? It's actually quite simple. If you take a bunch of numbers, let's say A1, A2, these are numbers up to AN, then the arithmetic mean is simply the average of these numbers. So you take the sum of them, you add them up, and you divide by the number of numbers. This is the number of numbers. Simple enough. Now let's look at the geometric mean. What is the geometric mean? Well, now this time you pro take the product of all the numbers, a1 times a2 up to a n, and you raise it to the power 1 over n. So this is simply the nth root of the product of all the numbers. Now the question is, uh, is this well defined? Is this well defined? Uh, and you can readily see the problem. I mean, if n is even, and if some of these numbers is negative, then uh, there is a possibility that the product of these numbers uh, is also negative. I mean, if odd number of numbers are negative, then certainly the product will be negative in that case. And if the n, if n is even, then you cannot really take the nth root of it and get a real number. So what we do is we um, restrict ourselves, restrict our discussion to positive numbers only. Uh, and that makes uh, that that will make both of these quantities well defined and we can compare them there is a very well known algebraic result that the arithmetic mean that is the average is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of these same set of numbers so this is a well known result and uh, we will not look at the uh, proof of this today. This, this can be done in, the, uh, in our class, but today we want to look at a geometric interpretation of this. A geometric interpretation. And really, we want to uh, look at two quantities. So, A1 and A2. And their arithmetic mean is simply their sum divided by 2. And their geometric mean is you take the product of the numbers and raise it to the power half. And remember, a1 is greater than 0 and a2 is greater than 0. We are only dealing with positive quantities. And this can be extended, but uh, let's focus only on positive quantities for the moment, just for fun. Okay, so we, have, we, we want a geometric interpretation of this. But first, let's look at how can we construct the square root of a1 times a2. So this, is, this can be a little exercise. And uh, you can look in the link in the description. It will take you to a small quiz, which will help you to uh, solve this problem. So what is this? We want to construct the square root of a1 times a2 geometrically. So using a compass and pencil and maybe a straight edge, can you construct the square root of a1 times a2? Suppose a1 is 3 and a2 is 5. Can you construct square root of 15 using a compass and a pencil and a straight edge? Well, this is how you can do it. Um, take a unit three uh, three unit long uh, three unit long segment let's call it ab and take another segment and that segment should be five units long so here you go five unit long let's call this c five unit long and now take a circle 
ठीक असार को लाइक दिस एंड दिस सर्कल इज ऑफ रेडियस वेल इट इट शुड हैव ए सी एज द डायमीटर ए सी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ दैट सर्कल एंड दैट मीन्स द रेडियस इज थ्री प्लस फाइव ओवर टू नोटिस दैट द रेडियस इज द अरिथमेटिक मीन इज द अरिथमेटिक मीन ऑफ दीज टू नंबर्स so you can take the midpoint of this let's call it o then oc is the arithmetic mean of these two numbers that you started off with 3 3 and 5 and if you erect a perpendicular at o let's call it om this is also the radius so 3 plus 5 over 2 that's the value of the radius simple enough the crazy part is this if you want to find the geometric mean all you have to do is to erect a perpendicular at the point b erect a perpendicular at the point b so this quantity will happen to be square root of 3 times 5 why can you prove this well i'll give you a hint and more hints will be in the link in the description but this is how you can go about it join so let's suppose this point is n join an and cn join an and cn now can you show that triangle aben is similar to triangle bcn and that's similar to triangle anc that is all these three triangles Need, will be similar to each other it's a very important and well known result in geometry now using this result you can show that bn is indeed square root of 3 times 5 now if this bn is the geometric mean and if om is the arithmetic mean you can easily see that the radius will be greater than any other half chord right so if you look at this uh, bn you can th think of this as a half chord so b in this case bn is the half chord a radius will be greater than or equal to any other half chord in this particular circle that's uh, because diameter is the largest chord inside the circle so the fact that radius is greater than any other half chord translates to arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean this is wonderful right so can you show this rigorously that bn is indeed square root of 3 times 5 and then you have finished this construction with a proof All right keep on doing wonderful mathematics we will meet soon again in the next video